Minnesota, they have everything from a Heisman to a Nagurski in their rich legacy. And today in Minneapolis, the Golden Gophers hope to add another memorable chapter. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Bring it out. It's Taylor. Powers through. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. to the tailback and he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land it's an offense that takes pride in being physical they try to get it going on the ground but no gain on that one just nowhere to run not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier this defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality let's see if they can keep it up touch pass on the jet sweep got enough for the first and he's still going hit the afterburners kid They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure it to first down. The Golden Gophers are in the hurry up. How many ways can I get it to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, go in full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Off play action. Looking for space to the left. He can't make the connection. It'll be incomplete. He can scramble but couldn't create anything there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Avoids pressure. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. I love when QBs break the pocket and still look to attack. Because as soon as you break the pocket, I'm thinking, oh, man, he's going to take off and run, and I might come up. But those big plays can be made down the field. Nice job by the quarterback keeping his eyes down the field. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Got the first down and more. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Yeah, I mean, way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and we're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. Back to throw. It's Grossman. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And that defender was just smothering the quarterback on that screen attempt. You know, the QB's taught to hold on to it to the last possible second. He had no shot trying to negotiate that defender. He'll just keep slinging it. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, Minnesota! Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The 
kickoff unit about to go to work. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking for space, it's Sanders. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. They'll try the run. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to throw it to Sellers. They've got the screen set up. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Give to the running back. And a good pickup to move the chains, and the clock will expire, and that's how they'll be set up to start the second quarter. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They'll ride the hot hand. And a good solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. That's not a huge game. Those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. The offense there, lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Let's see what they've got on second down. On the option. Quick toss. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Scanning the field, it's Sellers. Firing to the right, complete. 
He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. The Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. It's a reverse. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. And this offense has a chance to pull even as we get deep in the first half. Defense trying to hold on to the lead. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now on second and goal. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And I love that this offense stuck to it, stuck to the run game, didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they want it now. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. And they did tack on that extra point without any adventure. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. Back to pass, it's Grosmer. Got his man down the middle. Coming through that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They're looking for an advantage to the right. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chance. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Quick touch pass to the receiver. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And the Golden Gophers moving quickly to the line. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. So the offense will go for it around midfield. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. The completion well past the sticks. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a short thing. An easy conversion for this offense. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Quarterback will audible. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. The pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. 
you know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? You gotta have real loose hips. You gotta be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. Wants to throw, it's Grosmer. Unleashes one. Pass balls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. And you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. You don't, you don't know how to control it, and you don't know what goes wrong, but sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. Just a few seconds to go here in the first half, and they'll send out the field goal team. And there is a degree of difficulty with this one. A 47-yarder from the right hash. No, no good. And here in the third quarter, it is still a tie ball game. The Golden Gophers will kick it away to crank up the second half. Bounces through the end zone. It's a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. First drive of the second half. Always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive? Though? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. And he is going to lose yardage. Nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. The defense sniffed that screen out perfectly. All the D line, when they were reading the body language of the offensive line, they knew something was up. And when the screen pass got thrown, they were right there to make the tip. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30th, third and short. On the move, it's Sellers. He's got the tight end. Ball is loose. Oh, and fortunate to get that one back. And as an added bonus, they get the first down. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground. But a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. And the Gamecocks with the first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Sanders. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Smart play by the quarterback. Nothing open. Dump it off to your running back. And listen, he's a running back. He's used to having the ball in his hands, and he's a big running back. So if you want to bring that to the ground in the open field, it's very difficult. Great job by the running back making a play. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Goes to the option. Now the toss. Picks up the first down. And they'll finally shove him out of bounds after a strong run. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. Movement here from the tight end. They'll go to the ground. Got some room in it to the goal line. Touchdown, South Carolina! And that one will give them the lead. Man, what a nice touchdown run, and this is a team effort, right? It's got to start with the offensive line to give you that crease, and then the wide receivers start to kick in, and the running back, he handles the rest. Nice touchdown run. The AT unit on the field. 
And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the finisher came on a terrific 24-yard run to the house. Coming out with it, it's Taylor. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Gopher offense is headed onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. You got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive. He's got it down the left side. Oh, look out. There he goes. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Well, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You can put drives together like that that quickly, chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something figured out. And the extra point was made without incident, and we're tied up here in the third. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just maul it. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the foot. Oh, it's a fumble! And he was able to get back on top of it. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Line getting set on second down. They run the reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looking for space. It's Sanders. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. game here late in the fourth they want to control the ball and they're not going to punt it away they'll go for it on fourth down he'll try to throw and pick up the first down makes the grab well past the sticks and the defense makes the immediate tackle but he has enough for the first down and that can really take the wind out of a defense's sails when you convert with a fourth down completion. Great chemistry there between the quarterback and his target. Fourth down, you gotta have it. You gotta be on the same page, and they were there. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one.
second down will they go back to the ground game. The lone back's got it. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Sellers. Get it out on the screen. Ball's out. The defense grabs it, and they're going the other way. The more hats you have near the football, the more likely you are to cause a fumble. So many guys with their hands wrapped around guys, the ball's bound to pop out occasionally. You've got to be in the right place at the right time. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's I'm dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for a loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. Quarterback checking off. Wants to throw on second down. Finds a man on the right. And he delivers the blow and he's still running. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. They're going to run it. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. And the Golden Gophers want to crank the tempo. The defense calls the timeout. Their second of the day as they try to get their act together. Balls at the 24, a lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. Touch pass on the run. Really nice run, rips off six on the play, but it brings up a fourth and two. Defense will take a timeout with 28 seconds left. Going for it on fourth down late in a tie game. This is a huge play. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Finds him out of the backfield. Touchdown, Minnesota! And they've got the lead in the final minute. And how about this offense, man? They knew they needed to execute. Great play calling, great drive, put it together. Now you got a chance to go up by seven late in this ball game and then let your defense go on the field and seal it for you. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. No reason to risk trying to field that one as it skips through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. 
And they're going to have to fight this defense, and they're also up against it with time, Jesse. Yeah, no doubt, Reese. And this quarterback now, he's going to have to show off his poise, David. They practice these late-game situations, but how's this guy going to respond? And I got a little bit of time to work with here, so I, I watch the defense, and if they're going to drop back and play real conservative like they tend to do late in the game, let's get a few shots over the middle first before we have to take that deep shot. He'll try it again on second and ten. Here's a throw downfield late. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. Really nice job there by the safety back in the middle of the field. You see his range and his speed. He's able to close on the ball and then knock it away. Nice play. A deep throw as the clock winds down. What a snag by the defense. Got room on the return. And he's brought down after the pick, and time has expired here in the fourth. You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters, and this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps, they've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's going to do 